your plan for world domination has succeeded. But instead of an evil overlord, you are a mildly infuriating overlord. What is the first law you pass to mildly infuriate everyone? If you are wearing a long sleeve shirt, you are forbidden from rolling up your sleeves when washing your hands. This is the worst one yet. Truly infuriating. More tags on the back of clothes. Tag on both the inside and outside of the collar. And it's those tags you can't completely remove so there's always a slight pinch. Saw a video about Darth Vader and how his suit is designed with little pricks all around it to fuel his anger for his powers and I imagine this is exactly how he feels 100% of the time and everywhere on his body. Infuriating just thinking about it. The person who is driving slowest gets the right of way. Whoa, slow down Satan. Odd days, clocks spring ahead. Even days, clocks fall back. Even reading this suggestion infuriated me. Good job. It reminds me of being back in high school and having a days and be days. I'm not sure how other schools operated, for all I know it's fairly common, but you'd have a certain set of classes that would alternate MWF jith and then some classes that would be five days a week. I was actually a pretty good student, but I would always forget what ducking day it was. So yeah, if I had to deal with, ahead days and, the act days as an adult, I'd be that guy in the office constantly asking what day we're on, or I'd give up trying to adapt and just be late or early to everything. Let me tell you, my school had the most insane schedule you could possibly imagine. God it pissed me off. Monday, all 8 classes. Tuesday, classes 1 to 4, but were 2 X's long. Wednesday, classes 5 to 8, but were 2 X's long, but also class 8 was the first class and class 5 was the last Thursday, classes 1 to 8, but in reverse order. Friday, classes 1 to 8, regular order. Like WTF? Also, on the days where we had special assemblies, or church service was a Catholic school after all, we would end up moving Tuesday to Thursday, and Thursday would have shortened classes or something stupid along those lines. Like holy duck. Keeping it straight was a homework assignment on its own. See now this is a different circle of hell. I mean, it's been 15 years since I was in school, but wasn't part of the deal that you'd be able to get into some sort of rhythm? For example I've got history in the morning, then physics and band. After lunch, it's Cam and Apgov to end the day. Again it's been a while, but I seem to remember that routine being pretty important. What you just described sounds like absolute torture. It's based on two things, one. Plenty of evidence showing that block scheduling, longer classes, allow more in-depth work and comprehension. Looks like they decided there were advantages to letting teachers touch base immediately before and after weekends, two, probably to facilitate homework deadlines, but I'm not aware of any studies of that. But getting one block day per class per week probably still has advantages. Two, studies showing the student and teacher performance varies throughout the day. By flipping sequences, you don't get the same teacher at the worst time of day every single day. These studies are a little less clear, and tend to indicate proximity to lunch is significant. So just flipping class order doesn't seem like it will entirely address the problem. But I guess in combination with the block scheduling days it actually gives pretty good variance. Only downside is being an entirely insane schedule. All Wi-Fi passwords need to be reset weekly. Must contain at least one number, one special character, one emoji, one uppercase, one lowercase, and can't match a previously used password. Edit, this was great fun. Love the couple of guys that outed themselves what do you mean infuriating? This sounds like smart responsible security thanks guys. Edit 2, hold. Not sure what I do with this, but I love it. My precious. Thanks. And must be 25 characters long. My work requires that our passwords must include one thing that will cause us to forget our password. I don't know how my work does it, I suspect one particular it guy is behind it, but the system makes everyone change their password the day prior to them going on vacation. Yeah I am no way going to remember that. The it guy on my shift now expects my call every time I return from vacation. He probably thinks I have dementia or something since he's really young and I'm an old fart but oh well. Edit, if you're wondering why I don't write it down we don't have our own desks and even if we did the amount we have to change passwords is downright silly. It's just easier to have them reset it so I have to set up a new one when I get back. Everone is required to wear tank tops that are one size too small. 
This is the current situation in Walmart. I would outlaw regular formatting protocols on all written work. No more aligned margins, no paragraphs, you can write in any color ink but black, act. Only comic sans allowed. Sick bastard. Op was very clear about what he was looking for. Shut off internet and cellular networks for one random minute for every hour of the day. Edit, why y'all got some shit internet, cries in Canada. But then when the internet goes down, you'd know to just put your phone down and wait a minute. We need more uncertainty. Make it so every shutdown is still on a randomly selected minute but its length is some random number of minutes between 1 and 10. I know what you might be thinking. Then you could just wait 10 minutes and be done with it. That's why we no longer confine the shutdowns to 1 per hour. It's possible that the shutdown might be short and 10 minutes later we could be looking at another shutdown. There's just no way of knowing. So basically it. All packs of AA batteries consist of an odd number of batteries edit, to address flaws others have pointed out, packs may only be bought in odd numbers as well edit too, yes, you could get around this by going to a second store and buying another pack for example, but would that not be mildly infuriating compared to what we have currently? But not a multitude of three either. Pack of 17 only. And Therese restrictions on how many packs you can buy in a day. It has to be either one or a prime number seven or higher. Every Thursday you must wet one of the socks you're wearing, for awareness of climate and rising oceans. Police can randomly inspect for dry walkers. NBSP, edit, there aren't any extra rules at this time, so yes, there are ways to avoid having a wet sock, for example not wearing socks. Take care of yourselves in winter times, and always respect your workplace environment. For those asking how wet, the answer is soap. Ask your neighborhood officer, their judgment is final. Kind regards, your MIO, mildly infuriating overlord. That is very unhealthy for feet and the quick road to an athlete's foot, you sadist. Well, you can choose your other foot every second week. Works great for the new citizen paid government foot care system though. If you wear sandals, you must also wear socks. You mean over the sandals? I think I'd just cut my feet off at that point and be done with it. So, you'd now be shorter by two feet? God damn it, Dad. Take my gold. Now I'm broke. Break the spaghetti into 13 RDS before putting them into the pot. If it's ramen, you must break them up in tiny pieces before boiling. Italy collapses into chaos. They are already up in arms due to the kiwi pizza. I'm sorry, but kiwi pizza? You can only pee in a urinal if another male occupies the one next to you edit, and my most upvoted comment is about dudes pissing thanks for the silver. Do you not see the logical flaw here? Edit. How does the other male get to occupy a urinal in the first place? If you're alone in the bathroom, you just have to wait until someone else comes in. Then you have to discuss which two urinals next to each other you will use. P sitting down at that point. Two toilets to a stall and there must be two people on the toilets. Facing each other, and close enough so their knees touch. This is how you get people pooping in alleys. As long as they have a partner. Your phone can only be charged up to 20%. Androids, you underestimate me. Reusing bags instead of those disposable grocery bags, is 100% tax deductible, and at a pretty hefty rate, but you have to file a copy of each individual receipt demonstrating use of a reusable bag. Those receipts can only be acquired by filling out a form at the register. In triplicate. No e-form available. We're saving the environment one plastic bag and 17 bureaucratic forms of paperwork, plus ink, shipping footprint. Dozens of man hours in processing your request, at a time. All toilets in workplace bathrooms will be slightly angled downward so that sitting on them for too long will cause excruciating discomfort. This will boost productivity by denying workers the change to spend hours in the toilet browsing Reddit, like I'm doing now. I think slightly to the side would be even more infuriating. 
you get a slight cramp in your side or back from trying to brace yourself, and you can't focus on anything else. Source, used to live in a place where the tile was broken under one side of the toilet. More wobbly than tilted, but not an easy poop.